the history of Pelham Bay Park is the diversity of the flora, which is captured and shown best in its wildflowers. I forget if we had 400 species, 500 wildflower species in this park that were native at one time, and now it's been reduced over the last 50 years by about 30%. It's quite a significant amount. In the last 50 years, what I've been showing in my research is that as the woodlands have been growing, which is good and which is normal in our area, certainly trees and diversity of trees and shrub species have benefited from that, but as the habitat has changed, we've lost the diversity of wildflowers. And that diversity and that change has occurred through man's effect. We have a landfill in this park that was active up until just a, about a decade ago. We've had the installation of highways and the expansion of highways, both of these under Robert Moses when he was Parks Commissioner here, they were begun, those were his plans, and they have affected the habitats here, not only directly by eliminating species, but by changing the habitats and changing the pH of the soils so that non-native species have come in and invaded this habitat to make it a much different place. So although you look at this place now and it looks green, it's a very different green than it was 50 years ago and certainly 100 years ago. The green that you see now is made up of a lot more non-native species, species that weren't here when people got here, than just, well, say a half century ago. Why is that bad? No, it's still functioning as an ecosystem, but as you change the species here, then the birds that depend upon the foods and the structure of the habitat, the mammals, they also change. Some of them have dropped out and some of them become more common. Ah, so we've changed a habitat that looks similar to what you would expect to find in any park anywhere, but the biological heritage that we were given by our forefathers that was here just 50, 75 years ago is rapidly disappearing. I'm hoping that with a little bit of effort, some education, some outreach to the locals here who benefit the most from these parks, that we can raise an interest level, we can make people aware of the biological diversity, the heritage that we've been given, and protect some of the wildflowers and other native species that are here.